Hello! Good morning! It's me again, Rose, from the Philippines. Today is April 8, 2015. It's a Wednesday. So, I just got back from the post office and from the library where my customer works because he wanted me to go there so I can fit him the sandal that I'm making. And so far, I've been in on the last part or the upper part of it. So it's like that. And it fits him. It's a little bit snug or tight. But it's okay, he said. So I'm going to make this one longer. And then I'm going to start the back part. Then after that, I'm going to make the border line for the edging fit. So I'm hoping to finish this this Friday so I can deliver it to him because he's going to wear it at April 14. And I'm going to give him this by Friday or by Monday so he can wear it to the beach. So that is the project that I'm making. On the middle part, there's a slit wherein I'm going to put a single crochet that is going to overlap. So you can wear it like that and maybe you can put a safety pin on it. So that's the sandal. And I wouldn't be able to show you when it's done. I'm just going to take a picture of it. Because I'm going to deliver it to him as soon as I can. So, these past days, I was, I was also busy painting some stuff. Because the kids are not here. And I can paint um, whatever I want. And I come up with this thing. It's the first one. So, also, I made a video with Marisa's tablet with the front cam, but it's a little bit hazy, and I don't know how to upload it there because I have to sign it to Facebook first. So I didn't upload that one. I'm, I'm making a video right now to show you again what I've shown there. So this is the painting that I make. I'm going to put it uh, behind me whenever I am taking a video. This one is not yet done. But it's grass with flowers. My favorite thing. And also I made several cards with the theme of butterflies. So let's do First card. It's another one. This one is my favorite kind of butterfly. It's a monarch butterfly. But as you can see, it didn't come out uh, proportional because of how I penciled it. I, how I drew it first. Is another card. This one is in abstract. Hmm. But it tends to be sticking to the other cards. So there are splotches of torn paper in this one. So these are the butterflies that I made. And along with that, since the ink of the printer of my ate is gone and she wanted to buy again but and I was going to make calling cards or print some calling cards from that but I think it's gone so I decided just to paint some um, paint some cards with flowers 
I made several of these. So I can put there my contact number, my FB account, and stuff. I also made some with tulip flower and a butterfly. So I made several of those. So that's my paper projects. Um, I would like to say thanks to Miss Margaret for including me on her video wherein I was showing you the Spongebob hat and booties. Thank you so much Miss Margaret and it has about 83 or 80 plus views and I and I also has gotten uh, 41 subscribers maybe because of that from about 28 subscribers it jumped to 41. So, thank you very much. Okay. The last Sunday, uh, last Friday to Sunday, I was at Las Piñas because we attended a burial for the, for my cousin's wife. Her father died. So, we went to Las Piñas to go to to visit, um, to attend the burial, and as I was there, I made some doilies. This is the first one that I made. This is out of Miss Jan's um, cotton mercerized yarn she gave me. The light blue and the peach color. So I have several left of this. So I was thinking about what to make out of them. And I come up with doilies. I think the this yarn is much more thinner than my usual Monaco yarn. But the hook that I used for it is the same. The Amiya, Amiya hooks. You can buy it here in the Philippines. So I made one doily with this design. These are from the free patterns that the owner of the shop where I buy yarn from gave me. This is another design. I thought this was hard to make but it turned out good. And it's pretty easy to follow the diagram. There's another one. So there's the last or the fourth pattern that I would like to make. That one is a little bit tricky. I'm going to make that out of the leftovers. So that's my last penis adventure. And I made coffee. <laughs> so from way back I've made knitted stockinet stockinet knitted um, yarn came up with this I put together the stockinet stitch actually this is supposed to be a headband but it goes around so I just saw the side of it and then put some fiber fill so we can make it into a pillow. I saw the upper part. This came out pretty well but I don't know what to do with it. I was hoping I can make it into a amigurumi doll but it turned into a pillow so this one is knitted. And this is made out of variegated yarn, red heart. So that's the knitted pillow. So from Miss Snowy44, uh, Miss Jen referred me to her because she makes row counters out of beans. And I've made some of it. I rummaged from my bead stash. And came up with this beads. 
This one is pretty cool. It's, I use garter rice string for it. So there are nine beads here for the first one. For when you go to row one and you finish it, you can pull it up or pull it down. If you're in row two, you can just pull the other, the next one. Then when you go to the tenth round, you can pull down the next set of beads. So that was for me snowy, snowy 44. And I also made another one using another kind of string. Maybe this is a nylon string. Then as you can see, the beads are of different colors. They are supposed to be one color only for the nine per set of beads. But this is just the some of the beads that are available. So, I think it is supposed to be made out of glass beads. Big ones. So I think I'm going to make another one if I can with these glass beads because and they have to be the hole have to be big so you can insert the string from one side to the other. So that's the row counter. And from Ati Mae, she gave me some project bags. This one is transparent so you can see what's inside. So it also has two sliders. So you can sip it like that. And for this bag, I uh, put some variegated yarns in my needles. I was hoping to make a cable, knitted cable project. Just wondering what I can use. So there are two of these that she gave me. I was hoping to make a knitted cable headband. So I'm going to that is going to be my next or my future project. So this coming weekend I'm going to have a reunion slash um, swimming with my cousins. I forgot about the shirt. I was going to show you the shirt but I don't know where it is right now. I'm sorry, but uh, made t-shirts that has logos on it in my grandfather's name at the back and the year. So each one of us has that shirt. So we'll be reminded of the reunion and of our grandfather. So. Okay. So I went to the post office today and I inquired about the postal ID and it has some requirements that we have to meet and I've also mailed some letter and cards and I wanted to show you these are the dragon amigurumis that I'm making so Ate Mae wanted to make her three more of these with another color this is for Mac Mac I made this for him and as you can see this uh, Draco's body is much more uh, smaller than this blue one so she wanted me to make her this size and also the eyes should be at the front and not sideways. And for Adelina's Amigurumi, uh, she wanted me to put at the back of the dragon, the tail. So I'm going to make that. And inside of this, I've used the styrofoam balls. 
the small styrofoam balls. Styrofoam balls and not the fiber peel. So that's one also one thing that she wanted me to do to put on the other amigo device. So that is that is all of my projects. I'm sorry if I'm a bit lottery. Um, I hope you guys have a fine day. Um, the typhoon didn't come to Metro Manila this last weekend. There is another low pressure area, but I think it's not going to be a typhoon. So it's sunny in here. A little bit too sunny, but it's okay. Where you stay it by now. So that's it. I hope you guys have a fine day. Not too hot and not too cold. Um, bye for now.